and here we are with the beautiful flame of peace here in my garden in London on the day before the summer solstice. We're calling in the angels. Here are the, is an angel from the Daisy Center, beautiful statue of love. And we're calling in Merlin, Merlin from the beautiful realms. We're calling in the angels, the sound of the angels, the sound of the world coming in with ease and with grace. Merlin's grace. <laughs> they always make a sound to confirm that they're here. So as the energy starts to flow, coming in through now from the great central sun, pouring this light in. I'm holding an amethyst. How beautiful, beautiful amethyst heart. That was Paul on the harmony then and I'm sure he'll come back and play in a few minutes as well. And so we are going to use this violet indigo purple flame now to really clear the energies that are arising of conflict, of sadness, of unhappiness. And these conflicts are going on all over the world, whether they're a microcosm in your own life or a macrocosm in the world or a macrocosm in your own life, something that's devastating in your own life. We're calling in the angels, the angels of compassion, the angels of love to bring in this light to help with these conflicts. I was due to be in Glastonbury today, tomorrow and Friday morning, but um, that's not happening now. I've made a choice and the choice is to be in my heart right here where I am. I'll be here today and tomorrow I'll be in Folkestone. So I am, I am being true to myself, not getting caught up in the wider conflict that's going on in the heart chakra of the world. And it's many, many conflicts are going on down there um, and within the, our world. And that's where we need to bring in Merlin, Archangel Zadkiel, Lady Portia, Saint Germain, all of the energies of the violet indigo purple ray. So let's do that right now. Breathe it in. I'm even wearing a purple dress. You can't see it under my gold. Gold and purple. Purple light now to really transform, transmute and return to source. All of this stuff, all of this energy of of discourse, all of this shock and and uh, counterclaim, and all of the all of the fears and and dislikes that are happening all around. Whatever you believe in, whatever your thoughts are, there's always two sides to the story, and it's it's standing up for your conviction. It's standing up for what you believe in that's important. So with the flame of love and the violet indigo purple flame, we're going to really bring in this energy of love to bring healing, to bring healing from the cosmos, from the great central sun, from all of the angelic realms, through the galactic ley lines, through the ley lines, the synchronic lines, right through to the micro lines, to your divine lines, your vital web. So are you ready? I know I am. My name's Daisy Foss and we are here with the Angels of Awakening, the Angels of Avalon, the Angels of Atlantis, the Angels of Alchemy, all the Angels of Ascension that are here to facilitate the Angels of Awareness, the Angels of the Angles, all AOA Angels and of course the Angels of Aquarius, these Angels that are here for our awakening. <laughs> and as we speak, the sun comes out. This is three days. Usually I do just one or two days, the 20th and the 21st, depending on when the solstice, solstice lands, which day it is. But today, because of all of the stuff that's arising, I thought it was important to, to uh, make sure that we continue with our Wednesdays as well as do a special one on Thursday and maybe Friday, who knows. So are you ready? Just want you to take a big deep breath now. Anchor, anchor your energy, send your energy right down into the earth, anchoring, earthing and grounding. And the more grounded you are, 
the more you can fly, the higher you can fly, the more grounded you are, the more you can see, feel and be in that space of harmlessness. <laughs> harmlessness, right action and love. Yes, the, the phone was just kicked then. So that was a big nod, nod to harmlessness. How lovely is that? Harmlessness, right action and love. These are the nine principles of Mary. The angels came in and added some more. And so as we bring in this love, harmlessness, right action and love, bringing about forgiveness, compassion and truth. And as these energies flow, forgiveness, compassion and truth, balance and harmony arises. And through this balance and harmony, we restore the peace. We have the bliss and the grace. So as it comes back into this moment, this beautiful energy circling through these principles of Mary and the angels of awakening, beautiful, beautiful energies to be with. Harmlessness, right action and love. Forgiveness, compassion and truth with balance and harmony and gratitude all bringing peace and harmony peace and bliss and grace we have a kite overhead flying with a blackbird and as they are they're making this beautiful sound i don't know if you can hear it we're here in nature in this beautiful space connecting with nature because it's nature and your nature that d decides and sh shines through you as you bring forth your spirituality, your truth, your authentic, be authentic being. So as this energy is flowing, as the sounds of the harmony, as you are in this space and place and state of love, step into the center of your heart. Stepping out of the everyday world into this place through the flower of your heart, the petals of your being. And as you step into this golden light, the golden flame of divine love burning brightly within your being, this beautiful light, this beautiful love as it flows through your whole body. And as this light flows with ease and with grace through to the center of your heart, the pearl of your heart, the pearl of your wisdom, the pearl of your truth, the pearl of your being and being you, a human being, not a human doing. And as you breathe in this light, breathe in this love and accept that love that is flowing, accept from the divine, the sunlight, the sunshine, accept that which you can do something about and do it. That which you can't do anything about, let that go. And the wisdom to know the difference. What can you do? What can you be? What can you achieve for you? Nobody else. It's how true you are to you. And as this beautiful amethyst heart now, beaming out this love, being true to itself, true from the heart of Avalon, that's where we bought it in Stone Age many, many moons ago, this beautiful amethyst light, just beaming out this love. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can feel this love. You can feel this light. You can feel the life that burns through you. Breathing in this love. Breathing in this light. Because from this space in the center of your heart, this is the place of your truth. And in this place, you ask your heart, how truthful am I being to my principles, my principles of love, the principles of Mary, of principles of the angels of awakening. 
How harmless are you being? How, what right action are you taking? And how much love is there in this action and harmlessness? Just feel this love. And if you have to forgive, forgive all of those. Forgive all those who are less than love, who are fighting and in conflict and not understanding, not listening. Just forgive. Forgive that energy to the divine. Forgive that energy to love. Forgive that energy to the earth. And as you forgive, the compassion arises. The gratitude is felt. This attitude of gratitude arises. And from this gratitude, attitude of gratitude, we have peace, bliss, and harmony. Peace, bliss, and grace. Very gently coming back into this state or staying in this state for as long as you wish, as you come back into this moment, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, this portal of light, the 1111, the energy flowing now with ease and with grace, just for you, this beautiful light, radiant and strong. So from my heart to yours, sending love and compassion. And next week, Wednesday, we'll be here again, but it's a special week this week. So tomorrow, again at 11 o'clock, we will be here for the summer solstice connection. People are asking me, is it today or tomorrow or Friday? And of course, it's tomorrow and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Daisy Foss and uh, you can find me on daisyfoss.com and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.